Get ready for some week five action. We got the Pandora Bandits taking on the offensive juggernaut, G.I. Joe. Reinventing the passing game they are. I am the measuring stick, Mike Petrosic, on commentary. <sighs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> Skidmark gonna boot. Dave Krieg, maybe, to return. Takes it at the 15, up to the 20. Look at him go to the 25, all the way to the 29. Um, I don't know. I post the power rankings. I don't necessarily pay attention to them. These teams are kind of in the middle. It's still too early to care. Hard to tell. Tannis drops back, throws the oh brick with the diving catch. I thought that was going to get picked off. G.I. Joe obviously known for their stout defense, so every play is an opportunity for a turnover. Here's Calypso on the run. Big gain on that. Gain of eight. Tannis out of the shotgun. No, it's a direct snap to Calypso. Gonna get the first down. Gonna get a lot more. Like making guys miss. Divers finally take Calypso down. Well after the first down. Hand off again to Calypso. They had the, the defenders fake. They thought it was play action. The dough for the QB and missed. Allowing for the big gain by Calypso. Calypso again. Just keep feeding her the rock. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Good for yet another first down. They have got it at the 10. Tan is slowly dropping back. Couple options. She sees Mose. Mose. Doll Mose. For the touchdown. Bandits go up. Patricia Tannis with the touchdown pass. Let's see if they can make the extra points. Scooter Magooter. Doinks it. No good. It's going to be 6 0, but the Bandits do lead. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite them in the ass. We shall see. Here's Baroness on the slow return. Brought down at the 30. Baroness, well that's. Geez, in at running back. That's like running back number three or four. Oh, look at that. A rare completed pass for G.I. Joe. Completes it to Flint. Good for a big first down. Yeah, Baroness is not running back one and not running back two. Called play. Baroness slowly. See, why couldn't I have had that luck when I played him? Ugh. All right, here's Baroness in the pitch out. I think he got... I don't know. Or he, I don't know if he had a starting running back or second running. It doesn't matter. That game's over. I'm doing the bandits a disservice by talking about my team. My team sucks ass. Incomplete pass. Nobody can get it on the dive. Joe gonna try for a field goal. Could be tough with an unpaid kicker, but yeah, pushed it right. Let's see if it doinks. It does. It's no good. Bandits remain up six nothing. They have the ball back. Minute 50 to go in the first quarter. Patricia Tannis, hands off to Calypso. Look at Calypso go, couldn't break the tackle, but does get the first down. Hit power is overrated. I feel like unless you go balls out with it, it's just wasted points. Gain a seven on that play, Tannis. Faking the handoff, play action. Got someone open at the bottom, she sees Jacobs. She hits Jacobs in stride. Touchdown, Bandits. And who knows, the route might be on. W. Jacobs with the beautiful catch, but an even prettier pass by Patricia Tannis. Threw an absolute dime. Extra point is good this time. Bandits lead 13 to nothing. I don't know if we're seeing a route here, but given the... Uh, Current state of G.I. Joe's offense, or lack thereof. They might not be able to overcome this early deficit. We'll see. Hand off the Baroness. Uh, yeah, Baroness slowly. It's like walking out of the movie theater with the Coca-Cola stuck to your shoes. Just that plodding kind of sticky gait. Salvador gets a sack. It's now third and twelve. Hand off the Baroness, got some room, making extra moves, slowing her down, not going to get it. It's going to be a punt, and the Bandits will have the ball just before the quarter ends. Dave Creek again on the return, excuse me. 
he takes it at the 4. Up to the 20. All the way to the 25. To the 30. Breaks a tackle. Wrapped up. Oh, but he fumbles. And G.I. Joe's ready there. There to scoop it up. Lady J. Can she go all the way? She cannot. Down at the 11. Five seconds to go in the first. Second chance for G.I. Joe. But the call play. They brought down for a loss of 7. Here's Hawk. Dropping back. Looking. Throws it out of bounds into the crowd. Hawk again, dropping back, just looking, lobs it up. Lady J, oh, Lady J couldn't get there. And they're going to try for a field goal. I imagine it's probably going to miss. But we'll see. The kick is up. The kick is good. I was wrong. 13-3 to today. The G.I. Joe squad will not be shut out. But will they win? Can they mount the comeback? I mean, you look at that golden opportunity they just had there, and they couldn't really do a whole lot with it. What were you thinking not paying your offense? It's ridiculous. Here's Calypso running the ball, been doing that well all game. Gained seven on that carry. Second three and off, Tannis. Ooh, blitz. Brought down, loss of six, now third and nine. That's not good. Tannis again, she's got the wide receiver too. She's got Jacobs, but she overthrows him. Miscommunication on the route, and that's going to result in a bandit's punt. Could have had a huge gain there. Oh well. Live to fight another drive. Ellie punts. Baroness with the return. Whoa. Out kick the coverage. A long way to go, a long field for G.I. Joe. I'm pretty sure I know how this is going to end. But we have to go see it through to the end. Yeah, right to Siren Maya. Interception. I don't think she's going to get the pick six, but setting the bandits up nicely after that failed offensive drive just before. Tannis hands off to Calypso. Calypso's got some room. Oh, couldn't get by the last couple guys. Still gains nine. That running game working really well for the Bandits. Direct snap to Calypso. Goes nowhere. Loses four. Third and a handful. Tannis dropping back. Defender in her face. Throws it up. Jacobs. No, it was out of the end zone. No one was going to get that one. They're going to try for a field goal. Any points are good points. Here's the kick, should be right down the middle. It's not blocked. It's good. 16 to three, Bandits lead. Mechanic Scooter with the nice field goal. Oh, Baroness gonna take it out of the end zone. Gonna make her way past the 10, up to the 15, but she fumbles and the Bandits recover. Siren Angel recovering it. Just like that, the Bandits are threatening to score. This is really going to put the game out of reach if they can do it here. Looking, trying for Jacobs, who's covered, incomplete. Lucky it wasn't an interception. Better options were there, but Tannis did not see it. Hand off to Clipso up the gut. Only good for a couple. Third and eight now. 2-11 left in the first half. Tannis dropping back. Got someone at the goal line. No, goes for the one in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Bandit. She finds Jacobs again. W. Jacobs just waiting there patiently uncovered. The pass gets to him, and they got another six points. Let's make it seven with the extra. And that is now a 20-point lead for the Bandits. The way things have been going for G.I. Joe's offense, they're going to need a lot of luck on special teams and defense. A lot of turnovers and short field to work with. Can't quite rule them out, but it's not looking good. Here's Hawk. Hands off the Baroness. She goes nowhere. No gain. Second and ten. They take the first time out with a minute 40 left to go. Bandits, uh, they might be able to score yet again before the half if they play this right. Loss of four on that tackle. I don't think the Bandits have used any timeouts. They still haven't. They're waiting to see what happens, save them for this last drive. 
Incomplete pass. Fourth and 14. That's going to bring out the punting unit again. Pretty decent uh, punt for job. Krieg. Fields it at the 30. Makes their way past the 40. Brought down at the 49 yard line. 51 yards to pay dirt for the bandits. Can they do it for the half? Let's see. Minute 15 to go. Handoff. Clips off the middle. Nothing but room. Making guys miss. This is going to help. This is going to go a long way in their effort to score again before the half. They take their first time out. Just under a minute now. Tannis. Oh, sacked by the fridge. William, the refrigerator. Perry. Busting through. Getting the dive. That's a setback for the bandits. Be a long field goal, especially if they get sacked again. Jacobs open. Tannis sees him. Oh, that defender flew in there. Last time out by the bandits. Wasn't quite quick enough to break it up, but probably prevented the touchdown there. Direct snap to Calypso. Gonna get the first down. Oh, but wrapped up. See, that's where that hit power can be your, uh, your nemesis. If you just had no hit power, you'd go down quick and you're not wasting time wrapped up. Now they gotta try for a field goal instead. The kick is up. The kick is good. The Bandits are gonna go into halftime up 26 to three. Not too shabby. As we go to halftime, there's the blimp and balloons. There's a cheerleader. There's the band. What else we got? And Blinky Smoochie? Yeah, Blinky Smoochie. Right on. Mechanic Scooter set to start the second half with the kick. Baroness on return duty. Takes it at the 18. All the way up past the 30, down to the 33 yard line. Hawk handing off the Baroness. It's just, it's like watching it in slow-mo. No speed, no talent. Hawk just painful on the drop back. Incomplete. It wasn't picked up, but it wasn't caught either. Here's Hawk again. Plotting. Yep. Sheriff Juno with the sack. Three and out. G.I. Joe. Rinse, repeat. Bandit's really going to get a chance to pile it on now. As long as they can avoid turnovers. Especially injuries. You don't want to see anyone get hurt, you know, in a winning effort. Just keep everyone healthy. Keep tacking on the points. You live to fight another day. Bandits take over. Tannis. Leading her team. Dropping back. Jacobs open. No, I'm going to try for Moles across the middle. Who's covered. Jacobs was uh, probably the safer bet. But then again, the speed of that defender. He could have cut across the field and easily broken it up. They're going to try with Calypso instead. That's been much more successful. Gains a bit, now third and three. Calypso, no, fakes it. Tannis going to toss it up. Calypso diving. Good for the first down. Caught down at the 30. Those diving catches into coverage really work from the P1 position. Direct snap to Calypso, but it's called play. Loses four. Here's Tannis dropping back. Got a couple options. Tries for Moe's again. He was wide open. Wrapped up, brought down, hangs onto the ball. The drive continues. Taking time off the clock, moving forward. Hopefully it results in points. Tannis is going to get sacked by uh, Aiden Hutchinson of the Detroit Lions. I understand that the owner of G.I. Joe is a Lions fan, but it doesn't really fit the theme. But whatever, it's his team. He can do whatever he wants. That pass was incomplete. Tried for the jump and grab, but the defender had other uh, other plans for that. Here's Calypso, trying to make the field goal a little easier for Mechanic Scooter. Yet another field goal attempt. Kick is up. Kick is good, aside from the, uh, the missed extra point. Mechanic Scooter having a career day. He is having himself a game. Here's Baroness. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to just start talking about anything other than this game. It's kind of a, 
I mean, it's over. There's no way G.I. Joe is going to come back. Block pass. It's Tuesday. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I don't know when this will air, but I hope everyone has uh, big plans for, for the holiday, eating turkey, watching football. Baroness Hurt. That's going to... Let's see if she was uh, running back three or four. Four. That's going to bring in the wide receiver stalker. Wide receiver three at uh, running back. This should be good. Wide receiver's not paid either. Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, but no. Turkey, football. I don't know if there's any uh, deer hunters out there. It's deer season. It's big here in Wisconsin. Maybe not so much by where you guys live, but yeah. If you see this, you got one, drop a picture in the comments. I'd love to see it. I had a co-worker just hit me up today. He, he got a buck. And then I realized he had venison from last year's deer in the freezer, so he reached out, asked me to make him some jerky. I'd helped him out last year with that. And more than happy to make up some delicious venison jerky for him. It's one of the things I do. I've got a couple dehydrators. I like making different types of beef jerky and turkey jerky and experimenting with that. Tannis throwing it up to Brick. Brick House catches. Two diving misses. One guy to beat. Oh, he brings him down at the four. First and goal from the four as the third quarter is winding down. Here I am rambling about jerky and venison. And touchdown, Bandits. Calypso yet again. Tyreen Calypso, whoever the hell that is. 35 to 3 now. Scooter gonna add to his awesome game. Yep, another extra point. Good. 36 to 3. Okay. What else? I don't know. I got nothing. Just waiting for uh for each week's game, hoping for that first dub for my team. Patiently waiting for that TFO app to come out. I want to start testing and start working on defending my crown in that league. Yeah, that uh, Tone Loke goes nowhere on that run. Funky Cold Medina not working for him. He loves to do the wild thing, though. I understand that as a very dated reference. Look at this. What a scramble by the unpaid fill-in receiver off the bench one of their best plays other than that one completed pass this game. Tone Loke gets another yard. Hawk pitches out to Tone. I figure, why not? Let's ride him till he gets hurt. Gains a couple more. Third and seven now. I don't know if they're in four down territory. I, mean, I don't see what the point is, but you got to keep fighting. Yep, fourth and three, sure enough. They're going to give it a go. Hawk's going to pass. This shouldn't end well. Interception, sure enough. <laughs> okay. Bandits have it at midfield. Tannis going to step up. Oh, she sacks herself. Trips over Lions Hutch. Who was wrapped up with the, uh, the offensive lineman. That's impressive. Hand off to Clipso. I don't know if... They're that fast by design, or if it's a condition boost, but Clips are looking spry. Tannis tries for Clipso. Clipso is down, incomplete. No harm, no foul. They don't capitalize on that turnover. They don't need to. They just need to take time off the clock and try and leave this game unscathed, avoid the injuries. No return on that. That's going to be a touchback on that punt. General Hawk, Tone Loke and the boys. Fakes the handoff, drops back. Two defenders in his face. Locked, incomplete. Not going anywhere. You know, the problem is, it's, it's great that your defense is awesome, but your offense is... Ooh, Reese Strongfork with the sack. So anemic, you've dug yourself in such a hole that the next couple seasons, as teams get to you know, have someone in nine or someone at ten you're gonna have to revamp your offense so much you're just not gonna be able to compete from an offensive standpoint you can't just rely on your defense getting stops and turnovers for points at some point you have to put the ball in your offense's hands like that 
it doesn't do anything. Turnover on downs. Now first and goal from the nine for the Bandits. I don't know. I mean, there's still, your team's doing well. A lot better than a lot of teams, but maybe you can make a playoff run, but that, that's a very small window for a, for a championship, in my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. What do I know? Extra point is good. 40, geez, 43 to 3. Just a blowout. Two minutes to go. Tecmo time. Bazooka. Looking pretty good on the return. It is all for naught. Trust me when I say that. But still. Maybe it'll catch the eye of another team. Maybe he can request a trade or maybe he'll be in free agency after this season. You know, maybe there's teams out there looking for a good returner. Give that guy a, a chance. Give him a second look. Bazooka. Hawk. Oh, a sack by Sassin Zero. Fourth and 19. They're going to go for it. I assume they're not going to get it. That's going to give the Bandits another good chance at... Oh, he completes it, but yeah. Give the Bandits another chance to score some more points. You want to add to that point differential. It might bail you out come playoff time. When it comes to seeding or making the cut. Or even winning your division, you know, in the event of a tiebreaker. It goes to the point differential. Clipso gets the first down. 49 seconds left. Clipso again goes nowhere. They stopped her for a loss of three on that one. Same play up the gut. Breaking tackles, but it's not enough. Third and nine now. 30 seconds left. Another handoff. No, fake handoff. Even I was fake. The fridge gets his second sack. Fourth and 15. They're going to settle for a field goal. Put the uh, icing on this cake. The final nail in the coffin. Maybe he missed it. Might have pushed it right. It, no, wide right. No doink. No good. Remains 43-3. to three. Time for probably one play, considering the, the speed of this offense. Oh, he breaks free, but he's stunned by the grapple. He's just going to sit there, wait for Siren Amara to sack him, and that's going to do it. This game is mercifully over. Bandits win 43-3. to three. What else is there to say? Just look at the box score, all the stats. I'll tell you everything you need to know, and I will talk to you guys next time.